Hey guys, Stelcy here, and today I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on what we've seen so far from Call of Duty XP on Modern Warfare 3. Let's jump right in. Alright, let's start with perks. In slot 1, you have Recon, Sign of Hand, Blind Eye, Extreme Conditioning, and Scavenger. Alright, Recon. Explosive damage shows targets on the minimap. The pro version, bullet damage shows targets. What I take from this is that when an explosion goes off, you can see it on your minimap, and when your teammate is being shot, you can see them being shot on your minimap. Next up is Sleight of Hand. You get faster reloading. Sleight of Hand Pro allows you to swap your weapons faster. Next up is Blind Eye. Blind Eye makes you undetectable by air support and sentries. Blind Eye Pro allows launches lock on quicker, and you get extra bullet damage against air support and sentries. After that you get Extreme Conditioning. Extreme Conditioning allows you to sprint for longer distance, the pro version allows you climb obstacles faster. Lastly is Scavenger. Scavenger allows you to pick up more ammo in blue bags when an enemy is killed and we assume the pro version allows you to spawn with more ammo, pick up tactical grenades and possibly equipment. Moving on to slot 2, you have Quick Draw, Blast Shield, Hardline, Assassin and Overkill. Ok, Quick Draw. Quick Draw allows for faster aiming. The pro version allows you to recover from equipment and grenade usage quicker. Next you have Blast Shield. Blast Shield reduces explosive damage and it reduces the effect of flash grenades and stun grenades. After that you get Hardline. Hardline means that you require one less kill for your kill streaks. Hardline Pro makes it so that every two assists you get counts as one kill towards your kill streak and death streaks require one less death. Moving on to Assassin. Assassin makes you undetectable to UAV portable raiders, thermal, and heartbeat sensors. The pro variant makes you immune to counter UAVs, EMPs, and you don't show up with a red crosshair when uh, your name is targeted. Lastly is Overkill. Overkill allows you to carry two primary weapons instead of just a primary and a secondary, and the pro variant makes it so that your secondary weapon can have two attachments. Moving on to slot 3. In slot 3 you have Marksman, Stalker, Sit Rep, Steady Aim, and Dead Silence. Start off with Marksman. Marksman allows you to identify enemies at a longer range and the pro version allows you to hold your breath longer, presumably with sniper rifles. After that you have Stalker. Stalker allows you to move faster whilst aiming. The pro version delays the Claymore explosion. Next up is Sit Rep. Sit Rep allows you to detect enemy explosives and tactical insertions through walls and uh, the pro version makes your enemy's footsteps louder. After that you get Steady Aim. Steady aim increases your hip fire accuracy. The pro version makes your weapon ready faster after sprinting. Lastly is Dead Silence. Dead Silence will make your footsteps almost silent and the pro variant will mean that when you fall, you'll get no fall damage. New to Modern Warfare 3 is proficiencies. There is Kick, Impact, Attachments, Focus, Breath and Stability. Kick reduces your gun's recoil while firing. Impact means bullets carry more damage through materials. Attachments allows two attachments to be attached to a weapon. Focus reduces the flinch when you're hit by a bullet. Breath allows you to hold your breath whilst aiming down the sights. And lastly, stability reduces the weapon's sway whilst aiming down your sights. So, all the perks and the proficiencies being covered, what do we think? Initially there were some concerns that Blind Eye plus Assassin plus Dead Silence would sort of be very similar to Ghost and Ninja in Black Ops and thus ruin Modern Warfare 3. But after looking at the perks, uh, I really don't see that being the case. Uh, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer have done a great job in putting some really great perks in the same tier as those three perks. Uh, for example, Blast Shield, uh, Side of Hand and Quick Draw. Like th Those are just three perks that I really think uh, are going to be seen a lot. Personally, I think I'm going to be using Slide of Hand, Blast Shield and Dead Silence, but I really don't know until I actually play Modern Warfare 3. Uh, obviously, you guys, you're entitled to your choice of proficiencies and perks, but uh, I really think good props, big props to Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. They look like they've done a great job in sort of balancing out everything and uh, really looking forward to it. So, I'm going to be posting some more Modern Warfare 3 info as it's made. And so, yeah, guys, stay tuned for some more info. I've been Dalsy, and I will catch you guys later. Peace!